If only one word could be used to describe Colonel David Fleming, it could very easily be competitive. And if you use two phrases that would be used to personify Colonel Fleming, they would be, he never met a stranger, and he was always improving. David was born in Flemingsburg, Kentucky in 1932. He was the descendant of Fleming County's founder, Colonel John Fleming. As a boy, David spent his childhood working on the family farm. A close friend of his affectionately described him as being a runt in high school, but he later grew up to be a hoss. He was very athletic, kept himself in good physical condition. He was the manager of the school basketball team and would hang around other athletes at school. He became a gym rat, a phenomenal racquetball player too. A close friend said David developed himself and was a heck of an athlete in his older years. He took care of himself where others let themselves go. David would meet and marry Sybil Williams, a Bath County High School cheerleader. They would go on to have four children, Tony, Diana, Candy, and Andrew. David enlisted in the Kentucky Army National Guard in 1949 and worked his way up to corporal in the 149th Regimental Combat Team, now the 149th Armor Brigade. He was assigned as a platoon leader in the Heavy Mortar Company. David's competitive spirit drove him to learn as much as he could. He took correspondence courses and earned a direct commission as a second lieutenant. In 1956, the unit changed its mission to artillery and David, always wanting to improve, requested and was sent to Army Flight School, where he received his wings. He returned to Kentucky's Army National Guard as a fixed wing aviator. When I started out, Fleming recollected, we had two airplanes, two mechanics, and six pilots tucked in a back corner of a hangar in Lexington. Back then, we had an L-19 Berg Dog and an L-17 Navian which was later traded for a U-6A Beaver, and soon after that, we received our first helicopter, a Bell OH-13 Sioux. David continued to improve himself and graduated from the University of Kentucky with a degree in agriculture engineering. He continued his flight education as he completed Army Flight Test School. David went on to receive helicopter training in 1960 at the Air Force Flight School. It was held specifically for Army pilots at Gary Air Force Base in San Marcos, Texas. He returned to Kentucky where the fleet was enhanced by an additional number of the OH-13 and OH-23 Raven helicopters. Colonel Fleming was appointed commander of the Army Aviation Facility in 1970 and was the first brigade commander in the history of Army aviation in Kentucky. Not long after, Kentucky's first UH-1 Huey helicopter landed in Frankfurt. The Army Aviation National Guard became an active player after Vietnam as their budget and aircraft inventory increased. Fleming was considered an excellent pilot and flew all types of aircraft in the Army Aviation National Guard inventory. During his tenure, the Kentucky Army Guard aviators flew 74,352 accident-free flying hours in a fleet of military aircraft that grew to include the U-9 Aero Commander, the T-42 Cochise, as well as several variants of the UH-1 Huey. Colonel Fleming was known as a people person, never met a stranger. He would walk up to someone regardless of whoever they were and ask them what they did and got to know them. His friendship and leadership helped a lot of Army Guard soldiers, both enlisted personnel and officers, by encouraging and promoting their education track to enhance their careers. Colonel Fleming had a good rapport with the National Guard Bureau and was instrumental in obtaining the first delivery of UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters to the United States Army National Guard on January 31, 1983. Colonel Fleming retired on January 31, 1988 as State Aviation Officer for the Army National Guard. The Army Aviation Support Facility for Kentucky in Frankfurt was named in his honor in May 2000. He was credited with developing and strengthening the Army Aviation National Guard. David was always involved with his community. Besides sharing his love of aviation, he continued to be heavily involved with the Franklin County chapter of the American Red Cross, First Presbyterian Church, and especially the Frankfurt YMCA where he coached youth league football even after he retired. And David never lost his love for the country in the county where he was born. The family still has a home in Fleming County where they spent a lot of time. In 1999, at the age of 67, Colonel David Fleming passed away. He had just completed five games of racquetball at the YMCA. As always, David lived every day to its fullest, even his last. It is therefore fitting that Colonel David Fleming, 
a Kentuckian who was known as honorable, dedicated, and thoughtful, and always ready to give himself to those who know and served with him, be enshrined into the official Aviation Hall of Fame of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. <laughs>